Welcome to OS Geek in Australia and Diff Lab. Today's video is on OS Geek in TCD versus OS Geek in Superlock. Superlocks won't say Superlock on the capsule, they will simply say Spec S or Spec X for X ray. TCDs will refer to TCD on the top of the capsule. TCD meaning traction control differential. And again, they'll refer to either spec S or spec X. First, we'll open the super lock. This particular unit is from a BMW M3, M5, uh, M6. Uh, it's a BMW 210mm unit, a classic unit. It's a 10 plate configuration, meaning it has 10 active plates. So they are separated into outer and inner. Outer is on the right, inner is on the left. Now let's have a look at the finish on these plates. Grooved, six grooves each. You'll notice when they go together, a grooved surface mates with a non-grooved surface, like that, such that all of the slots face the same way. Superlocks have an end spring. This is a cone spring which you, you would have noticed at the beginning of the video sits here and preloads the capsule. It provides a small amount of breakaway torque so that there's always a little bit of lock up on at all times. Not much, it's not a very thick spring, but it's a little bit. Uh, it also takes up free play in the capsule. So this is only about two millimeters thick, but when expanded, it's about four millimeters. And that means as these plates start to wear down, this spring will expand and it will take up the free play that you now have because these plates are becoming thinner. And uh, that means that the capsule won't ever have any mechanical free play. Uh, this spring will take up all of that free play and it will keep the unit operating tightly and smoothly over time. This is the spline gear. This is what the plates run on and it forms part of the differential. So the differential is the uh, group of mechanical components which allows the left and right wheels to turn at different speeds. And whilst this is a part, this is probably a good time to illustrate how this works. So I'll just have to hold the thrust plates here and just try and turn the differential here. And if you can just see at the bottom there, you can see that the inner plates are turning the outer plates are turning as well, only because they're not being held in place by the capsule. But if you can just imagine in your mind the outer plates being held still, uh, and only these inner plates turning, this is how the differential works. You can imagine if this is connected to the right wheel, and the other side is connected to the left wheel, this is how the differential works. The limited slip action is provided by the resistance between these plates. These are the thrust plates. In an OS Kicken, generally speaking, the thrust plates and these spider gears are one assembly. They're being all held together by these nuts and bolts. In most other differentials, all of this would come apart. In an OS Kicken, it's all being held together um, for reasons I'll show you momentarily, uh, it comes out as one piece. Um, and you can see this is the way it runs. Um, the car is actually applying drive via these little dog ears. So it turns like this. Now the wheels are connected to these gears, uh, meaning as this turns, these gears are driving the wheels. Now imagine, imagine it being hard to turn the wheels with these gears because the car has mass, it requires some effort to get moving. So it is difficult to turn the wheels using these gears. Now, 
if you can imagine resistance on these, these crossbars here are really the clue to how the limited slip action works. So you could imagine these thrust plates driving forward. These thrust plates are held by the capsule and the capsule is driving forward. Therefore, the thrust plates are driving forward as well. However, all of this center section in here is, is connected to the wheels, including these crossbars. Now, this is how the LSD works. The crossbars are being, uh, the crossbars are connected to the wheels. The thrust plates are driving forward. What happens is, because there's resistance here from the wheels, and these want to drive forward, this little cam action here, when driving forward, wants to separate these thrust plates. This one here is pushing that one in that direction. This one here is pushing this plate in this direction. And what that's doing is compressing all of these plates on either side. You have an outward movement that way when this is driving forward. Um, when you lift off and the engine is dragging on the wheels, now the wheels are driving the engine. So it happens in reverse. Uh, these are driving the differential and they're driving it in this direction. However, the capsule is connected to the engine. So now this is hard to turn. If you can imagine the wheels driving this, this is connected to the engine. Now we're working on these angles here at the front. And you'll notice that the angles are slightly different. These are more steep. That's the drive side. This is the coast side. These are not as steep. This is a 1.5 way differential, meaning quite simply, the drive angles are not the same angles as the coast angles. There's nothing more to it than that. 1.5 way is simply referring to the fact that these angles are not the same. So, Use your imagination to work out what's happening here under a coast condition. The wheels are driving forward via these gears. It's turning like this, but the thrust plates are connected to the engine. Now it's driving on these ramps. These are the coast ramps. They're not as steep, so you don't have as much mechanical advantage compressing the plates. These plates will still push outwards like this, but not as much, because have a look at that angle. It's not as steep. The crossbars don't have as much mechanical advantage on the thrust plates, therefore they can't compress the plates quite as much. Now I'm not going to tear the rest of this down because the rest of this um, is the same. These are symmetrical units, meaning everything that's on the right um, is also on the left. There's the end spring on the other side. Um, this illustrates the way in which the entire stack is floating between two springs, one left and one right. So the whole stack can actually move very, very slightly. Uh, and this one will take up most of the free play as these wear down. This one will take up the free play as these ones up here start to wear down. For now, let's get rid of this because we've already looked at all of this and let's open the TCD. You probably noticed that the capsules look pretty much the same. Well, that's because they are. Uh, there's no difference in the capsule design between a Superlock and a TCD. Okay, you might have spotted a difference already. Of course, that belongs in the middle. The end spring is the same, in the same position. However, the, these plates are starting to look a little bit different. They all have holes in them. Let's have a look at an outer plate. This is a Superlock outer plate. This is a TCD outer plate in my left hand. A few differences there. It's mostly in how they lubricate the plates. 
So you can see that the TCD plate is cross-drilled. Um, no differences on that side, apart from the drilling. Um, and it has additional oil galleries. So the Superlock plate um, has six um, slots, um, all emerging from a um, central point, um, radial slots. Uh, and the TCD plate uh, has one oil groove, uh, which runs right around the whole disc. And multiple slots, but the slots don't go to the edge of the disc. Now let's have a look at the inner plates. To refresh your memory, this is a super lock inner plate. No differences on that side apart from the fact that they're drilled. But the same pattern again. These interesting oiling grooves. So this might give you a picture of how oil could flow let's say when all of these are in alignment right through all of them at the same time. Um, all of these inner plates are kept in alignment by the spline gears, meaning all of these holes will always line up. You might be able to see there that they all line up. They'll only line up um, according to this design, it'll be eight times each revolution. could imagine how oil might flow through these eight times um, for every full revolution of this um, and follow these channels and lubricate these plates. This is about, oh, I guess probably 0.2 of a millimeter deep, certainly enough that oil could flow the, through these holes and follow these channels here and lubricate the discs. And also by the looks of it, oil is flowing through the center here and in through the middle here where it could fill this center section with oil and then you could imagine on on uh, the other plates maybe even follow these grooves out and lubricate the plates this way so let's tear this guy down now and see if we can spot any other differences we'll take all of these plates out here they're all the same. They all have this circumference uh, groove. They're all drilled. So I'll just separate them out here into inner and outer plates. Same number of plates, if you'd guessed. 10 active plates, which means 20 plates in total. The number of plates is referring to these guys here, the, the inner plates. You don't count the number of um, outer plates. Okay, spline gears, the same, no difference. TCD, super lock, same gear. Let's have a look at the thrust plates. TCD on the left, super lock on the right, and no difference, they are the same. The thrust angles are actually written, if you can just see it in the middle there in the dark writing, the thrust angles are actually written on the crossbars, just at the top there where it says 25 forward slash 35. Uh, meaning these have the same angles, they're both spec S, uh, which means a default configuration, spec X for X-ray meaning it's a custom configuration, when a TCD on the left and a super lock on the right is ordered under spec S, uh, they are both the default configuration. And for these units, the default configuration is the same. There are 25, 35. The 25 is referring to uh, this angle here, the coast angle on the top. The 35 is referring to these angles at the bottom. That's the drive angle. 25, 35, because those numbers are different, means that this is a 1.5 way unit. The drive angles are not the same as the coast angles, so it's 1.5 way. No differences here. Uh, they're both symmetrical units. Five active plates on one side, five active plates on the other. 
the same spline gear again and the same end spring again. No differences here.